Okay, this is going to be an election update video. Um, I wasn't going to do anything on the election, but we have a very interesting, um, very interesting turn of events happening right now in the election. Uh, this was updated just a few minutes ago, and this is on. What am I at? I'm on Bing, Microsoft Bing. Um, right now, Biden is at 264 electoral, and Trump. Whoops. Oop, it just updated again. And uh, Trump is at 214 electoral. Now, it looks like Biden's going to win, but there's a really weird catch on this. Right now, Pennsylvania still hasn't fully reported. They're at 88%. Trump is leading pretty well in Pennsylvania, so it looks like he's got that. North Carolina has, is 100% reported now. Trump's got a good lead there, so it looks like he's got them too. Georgia is pretty darn close, but Trump still has the lead, and they're at 99.5% reported. And Alaska, Trump is in hard lead there. They're halfway through. Trump's got a hard lead, so it looks pretty good for him on that state. Now, Trump needs 54 points to win the electoral at 270. These four states, if he wins them, will give him 270. Nevada very close in Nevada. They're at 75% almost. He could technically, depending on how the votes go, he could take that. Biden needs Nevada to win. That's the last state he's leading in. He needs Nevada. If he doesn't get it, he won't get 270. Here's the scenario we're looking at. Biden is leading in Nevada. If Biden takes Nevada and Trump takes the other four states, they'll both have 270. They'll both win with a tie. Only one other time in American history has this ever happened. And it was during the election with Thomas Jefferson. They both received 73 electoral votes. We're going to look at that here in a second. If that happens, the House of Representatives has to make the decision on who's going to be president. And what they will do is they will have a single vote from every state. Now, that could change. That's just I'm just saying what the, the Constitution is going to show on that. Here's the, here's the problem we're running into right now. Where could this go? The world is holding its breath right now because this election is going to change everything. Either way, it's going to change everything. We're so close to this going one way or the other. It's actually kind of shocking of what's happening. Back when Thomas Jefferson, when him and I forget who he was running against, we'll look at it in a minute, they, when they tied, the House of Representatives still made it 36 times before they picked. So if this happens and the same scenario unfolds now, we could be looking at the same situation as then, and there may be no telling when they would pick a president. It could take a couple of weeks. But what was, what's going to happen in the meantime? So very interesting situation is happening here. Now I'm on Newsweek. And I'm going to read you some of this article here. What happens if the presidents tie? In a few hours, the 2020 presidential election will be over and voters will be waiting to hear the final result of a tumultuous and long election cycle. In the week leading up to Election Day, President Donald Trump and Joe Biden were traveling the country speaking to voters in a last-ditch effort to win the presidency. Early voting numbers reached record-breaking levels with more than 99 million Americans casting their votes before November 3rd. Even still, it could take days for Americans to know who won the race for president after accounting for both in-person and mail-in votes. So it still could take time after all states vote in. Now, watch what happens over the next three days. Things could get really weird. Though in swing states such as Florida, Arizona, and North Carolina, votes are expected to be counted that night or shortly after. And you already saw where they're at. Vox reports, of course, it is not simply the amount of people who have voted that makes the difference in the end. It is the electoral college that matters most. While it might seem hard to believe that there could ever be a tie in a presidential election, it did happen in the year 1800 between Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr. This was only the fourth election in American history, and when officials went to tally up the vote, both candidates had received 73 electoral votes. Now, as the country has grown, there are a total of 538 electors, meaning each candidate needs 270 or more to win an election. So what happens if a tie occurs? If this happens this year, this will be unprecedented. It will be the only other time this has ever happened in our nation. In 1800, the government looked at the Constitution, which has a plan for an event of a tie. 
If there will be more than one who has such a majority and have an equal number of votes, then the House of Representatives shall immediately choose by ballot one of them for president. In 1800, it took quite a while for the House of Representatives to come to an agreement. In fact, the House deadlocked 36 times before eventually electing Thomas Jefferson as the winner, according to History.com. Fast forward to today. If after all votes are counted after November 3rd, now remember it could take till November 6th or further before they're done, and there is a tie, the decision would still be left up to the House of Representatives to decide each state's delegation would cast a single vote to determine which candidate has the majority of support. As of October 30th, 538 says Joe Biden is favored to win the election based on both national and state polls, but with as many twists and turns as this year has offered, it is hard to say what exactly will happen come November 3rd and the days that follow. Today's the 4th. So we're looking all the way out to probably the 7th to the 9th that this could stretch depending on what happens. So what happens tonight could go could go a really weird direction. Um, we don't want this to happen. We don't want there to be a tie. Taking candidates off the table, no matter which way it goes, we don't want there to be a tie. If there's a tie, it will completely bring this country to its knees. With as bad as things are now, and with as bad as the reaction we got last year, with what happened in the, or not last year, 2016, with the election in 2016, and as bad as the country reeled from that, we don't want a tie to happen. If a tie happens, it's going to be very bad. Either way, for this country. It'd be better if it goes to one or the other. Um, if it goes to one, it's going to be bad. If it goes to the other, it's going to be bad. No matter what, uh, our nation, as, as a nation as we are, everything changes after this. Everything. No matter who wins. See, people need to realize that things aren't going to keep going the same way after if Trump wins. If Biden wins, everything's changing. Within the first term, they're going to change everything. You may not even see another presidential election because that's how crazy the Democrats are. If Trump wins, because of the prophetic ramifications of him being in office and with what we're seeing in Bible prophecy right now, everything's going to change. We may not see another election there either. A lot of weird stuff is happening right now. A lot of powers that be are having a major play in this right now. So it's really important to pay attention and to watch what goes on. Now, if Biden wins, even though I don't support Biden and I don't really think very highly of him, I'm going to pray for the man because that's what we're supposed to do is pray for our leaders. We're not supposed to talk down to them. Trump wins, I'm certainly going to pray for him because he's going to need it. This is a close race. This is the closest I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen one this close before. I mean, look at this. I mean, they're barely 1% away from each other. Several percent in Pennsylvania. It looks like he's got Pennsylvania. He's got a decent lead in North Carolina. But look at here, about one, not even 1% in Georgia. Alaska, I think he's got Alaska sewn up, but they still got a ways to go. So, this is weird. 2020, the year of strange. Now, I want to point out one more thing before I end. This is just going to be a quick one. Where'd it go? Oh, it's not up this one. That's right. Something very interesting, and y'all know where I stand on this. I've made it very vibrantly clear. You scroll down here and look at these news stories. Donald Trump says he has already won the election, taking case to Supreme Court. Who is standing on the right in the background? Folks, every picture and everything I see, this man is standing in that picture in the background somewhere. His face is always looking at the camera when they're talking to Trump, anywhere they are together. Sometimes he's way in the back of the room, but I can see him. Guys, you know where I stand on who I, what I think about Jared Kushner. I'm, I'm probably wrong, but there is so much and so many times that places him right there. There's a lot going on behind the scenes we don't know about. There's a lot more at play here than just an election of a president. So we need to be very diligent, and we need to be very much in prayer about what's going to happen and what's going on here. We, we need to be very, very spiritual about this and be in the Word and be faithful. This could go any number of ways, and all are going to ultimately end up being bad. 
but we need to be prepared. We need to be ready. You need to be prepared and settled in your hearts to wake up tomorrow morning to a completely different world. I'm telling you. This isn't joking. This isn't exaggeration. This isn't anything. You need to be ready. You need to prepare yourself. In your heart. I'm not talking about filling your house with crap. You need to be prepared to be able to deal with what's coming. Because there's a lot of Christians that aren't going to be able to. For those... If you have the strength, you need to be ready to counsel them. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to need help to cope with what's happened. So, be careful, folks. Watch. What's happening on the world stage right now is unreal. We're witnessing Bible prophecy at play. And even in our presidential election, it is at play. They just updated the map again. Nothing's changed that I can tell. Yeah, it looks like nothing's changed. Oh, Biden took a bit of a jump in Alaska. Still way behind, though. So, like I said, when I see pictures like this and, and Kushner standing in the background, I mean, you guys already know where I stand on this. You already know where I'm at on this. I, I'm, I'm probably wrong, but when I see that, it's weird. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, pay attention, guys. Watch for this stuff. You can Google this map. It's really easy to find. And you can click on each state and look at what's going on in each state individually. But uh, this is a weird election. It looks like Biden's got it. But when you take a look at the numbers, it looks like a tie. Because if it goes exactly the way it is right now, they're both going to get 270. They're going to tie. That's weird. That's very weird. That's like, that's very strange that it would work out that way. Hmm. All right. That's all I got. Keep your eyes up, folks. Keep watching. Stay faithful. Stay strong. Regardless of disagreement, regardless of what we see or don't see, regardless of what we believe and don't believe in, we're all in this together because this affects every one of us. We have to live in this world, too. So we need to be diligent about how we deal with things. We need to be diligent about what we're doing. And now, more than ever, we need to be very, very much focused on faith. And trust in the Word, in, in the Word and in the Lord, because that's the only thing that's going to get through this. It very well could be that only the Christian is going to be the one that people are going to turn to, because everybody else is going to be losing their minds. If you live in a city somewhere, I feel sorry for you. See, popular vote down here. Biden's only ahead by less than 2%. It's not much. So we'll see what happens. Let's hope our Lord comes instead.